Welcome to Talk Wisconsin. I'm your host, Steve Zinda, and we are thrilled and honored to be joined today by Carrie Burgum, who's been voted first place for Best of La Crosse County K-12 Teacher. And Carrie, first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. As I understand it, you are a Spanish teacher at the Holman High School. Yes. Specific grades or do you do multiples or? No, I, yeah, I do nine through 12. Um, this is my 35th year, so, yep. Well, congratulations. Con congratulations, it's a great honor. Um, so what we're looking at, Carrie, today is, you know, based on the times and what's going on in society, what, uh, what are educators doing locally to overcome the challenges facing education in today's times? Well, right now we're all digging in really deep. Um, I don't know any teacher that is not actually probably doing more work now than they did before. Um, thrown into an online system is obviously not what any of us would have chosen, but we're in it for our students. And so we're digging deep. Um, we've got in the Holman School District, great leadership and our superintendent and more locally in our high school in Wayne Sackett and our principal. So we've had really good communication from them as to how to approach this. And um, we also have a tech person by the name of Lisa Risch, who's done amazing things with helping us get up Zoom classroom set up so we can talk to kids periodically, um, meet with them periodically. So those are the things that, you know, teachers are doing and trying to find exactly what is essential um, in our curriculum that we can do and make sure they can move on to the next level without a lot of hesitancy next fall. So with that being said, so right now the current way you're doing things is like we are right now doing Zoom? Exactly, well Zoom, Google Meets, um, I think there's probably several out of the, I'm not real tech savvy, but there's probably several more that they're possibly using and yeah, that's how some are doing it, meeting once a week, meeting every day. Um, it's just kind of up to the individual teacher and how it works with the classes. So you have regular communication with your students? Yes. yes. That's awesome, that's great. Um, so with the current situation, I guess I'm, I just asked this question, but is that the silver lining and everything that you're able to do online classes? I don't know that online, well, the fact we get to communicate with our students is a silver lining. I don't know that online is the best thing, but um, I think the silver lining is still actually being able to see their faces and see them in their own habitat, so to speak. Um, some of them are getting, are just getting out of bed, so they're all like still in the covers, those kinds of things, or they're eating breakfast, they're kind of being themselves. Um, and the fact that they're tuning in, uh, that's the best part. They obviously, they, they miss the class, they miss their classmates, hopefully they miss the teacher. <laughs> of course they miss you. Yes, exactly. Come on, Carrie. So um, with what, what advice can you give to parents right now? Because I know from my own personal experience that I have friends, actually uh, our boss, she's actually home teaching her kids right now. So what advice would you give to parents as far as what they can do to help promote education and things like that at this time? Well, at the high school level, if you're a high school parent, um, just check in with your kid every day. Um, we all have formats um, at home and high school. We use Canvas or Google Classrooms and the kids are supposed to be checking in each day for a message um, from the teacher, that kind of thing. At the high school level, for the most part, parents don't really have to teach. They more have to guide, but that doesn't stop them from getting uptight and nervous. And I guess, and this is advice for even the teachers, is that we're not actually at this point homeschooling we're crisis schooling and nobody's ever done this before um yes there are online courses but those were planned um we have to give ourselves a break and it doesn't matter which realm it comes in whether it's as a parent or as an educator or as a student um and the community's been great in, in um, supporting all of what we're doing uh, people are asking questions they're emailing um, parents come to us if, if they need to and hopefully that's because prior to this they trusted us enough to ask those honest questions. Understand that and Carrie we got to wrap up we're running out of time um, but we're with Carrie Burgum 
and she is the first place winner of the best of La Crosse County K through 12 teacher in Holman. She's a Spanish teacher. Give me one word of Spanish for me. Adios, mis amigos. <laughs> All right, Carrie, thanks for coming. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin right after this.